Hey everybody, welcome back. Marcus Gray is back again with another reaction to Naruto. Let's get on into it. Mmm. Mmm. Did he cut these motherfuckers in half? They were four separate people? Oh, die, go on. Kabuto. Mmm, so they, man, they had, uh, they had sleepers everywhere. Yeah, indeed, Kakashi. Now, this is what I wanted to know. What in the world are they summoning? Yo. And that makes sense. Orochimaru summoning a serpent of some sort would make sense. Oh. Mm. 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 Nah, bitch. <laughs> You're dealing with me now, motherfucker. <laughs> I just like the way he said that. Sasuke. The tuning exam is now over. It's like, yo, it's about to go down. Oh, ooh. Always licking shit. <laughs> yeah, you might end up in a trap. Uh, yeah. What were, what were you watching this whole time if you didn't see him leave? I mean, uh, I suppose them, but, oh ha! Yeah. I suppose them, but still, you know, peripheral vision, Sakura. Mmm. <laughs> it's my boy, Kakashi. I'm gonna go reduce the number of enemies. Mmm. <laughs> Go see what the Hokage could do. Yep, yep. Exactly what I was talking about. Mm-hmm. And Shikamaru would be useful. Yeah, it's all or nothing, baby. Don't tell me this is freaking over. I bet you it is. Hey y'all, uh, some important Naruto housekeeping business to uh, attend to before I get into this next episode of the session. Recently, I believe I may have heard something about Orochimaru in regards to his identity or who he is. I don't know if what I heard is true. And I don't want to say what it is because I don't want anybody to either confirm or deny it. A new viewer watching this may be asking, why are you letting us know this? First of all, if you are a new viewer, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're so inclined. Those of you who have been with me know exactly why I'm doing this. I'm not about no bullshit. I'm not about no fake shit. I'm going to be upfront. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I do my absolute best to stay away and it's... It can be difficult. <laughs> I believe I've, I've I've been doing a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Um, but I'm going to be real. If it comes up in the show, I'll I'll let you guys know and say, yeah, this is what I heard. But what I heard could have been wrong. I don't know. But I wanted to let you guys in on that, just so that we are all on the same page. But right now, let's enjoy some more Naruto awesomeness. He's. <laughs> I really don't want to fight. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to fight. <laughs> exactly. Mmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> Yeah, it's supple. <laughs> what the heck is this about? 
if Akashi is going to summon anybody, that type of character makes sense. <laughs> Let's go, Kage-sama. Mm. Oh! Of course. He's the Hokage for a reason. Okay, Okage-sama. Oh, the aspect ratio changed. Those two. Were those former Hokages? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where is Jiraiya in all of this? Nine. Squads usually consist of four, right? Where's this outlier coming from? Okay, Baku. <laughs> An unlikely group, yes. <laughs> One may have to die. That's a yeah, that's a dope shot. Yeah. He doesn't want to fight, but he's not gonna let them get to you. Exactly, he wouldn't betray you. Hmm. <laughs> mm, it's wavering though. He's got eight people. Where's the ninth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's neither beautiful nor ugly. <laughs> I was about to say, I wondered why the ninth person <laughs> didn't just kill him. Oh, was that his his uh his sensei? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Asuma sensei. Let's go protect his boy. Asuma sensei. So, with this session, it's, it's where the battle between the sand and sound and the leaf villages began. We've now seen these. Uh, uh, these tuning exams go from very personal obstacles with uh, personal consequences transform into a large and macro obstacle with macro consequences. What was once the main thing in the minds of the Genin and Chunin and the Jonin and everything, like it was all revolved around this tuning exam, has now become very minuscule in the face of this new threat and this new for well not new but th th this new to the situation uh, uh threat and this new force and as it's going as the one proctor said to sasuke where it's like look you are tune in level now because this is about protecting the village this is no longer about all oh, your students and everything no shit's about to go down we need to do something now so now you have uh the genin they're now having to perform the roles of Chunin, of protectors. In one instance, you see of that about their, their backs being against the wall and now they have to make choices. Chunin level choices is with uh, Shikamaru, as we've seen. He can be nonchalant, he is academic and combat disinterested. He even says in, this ep uh, in the last episode of this session that he was just looking for a serene life. That's all he was looking for, to be the one to say, I'll stay behind, to be the one that will ambush uh, a group of Chunin, maybe even Jonin level uh, trackers, one against eight, really one against nine. It is completely out of his character. Well, not out of his character, but it's in conflict with the majority of his character. And it seems, I mean, and uh, more could be conveyed later on, but it seems like just from this uh, episode that 
he will try, even as he was asleep, you know, and he, he released the Genjutsu, which also puts him on, like, an awareness level of Jonin, because only he and Sakura were the ones, other than the Jonin, to be able to uh, release the Genjutsu. And by the way, and of course, I'm not saying that they are Jonin level. I'm saying that they have the potential of Jonin level, which this shows right now of how skilled they are. And, you know, he doesn't want to get into the fight, but he chooses to be the one to do it. And it doesn't seem that the story is conveying that he is like village protective, that he is protective of on a mass level, but that he has come to grow fond of Naruto and Sakura, that maybe when his back was against the wall, he was going to choose to protect his friends. Orochimaru used the reanimation jutsu to revive, reanimate the first and the second Hokage. Now there was a third pod <laughs> that he was bringing up. I can only imagine that that third pod was the fourth Hokage. And, I, and it's very telling that the uh, third Hokage, <laughs> when that third pot was coming up, he said, oh, no, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm bump, uh, bump this, mm, -mm. <laughs> forget this. I'll take the first two. This one can't, th this one can't happen. <laughs> no. Now, it could, now, could it be a thing of, like, he, he seemed to be speaking with affection about the fourth Hokage. I can't remember which episode it was, but when the, uh, when he was looking at the fourth Hokage's picture... He seemed to be speaking of him with affection. So it could be that. He just didn't want to see, let alone fight, this this ninja, this student. And it may have been a thing of like, no, I can't, I can't handle that. The other possibility, and they don't have to be opposed to each other. It could be, they, it could be linked with each other. But the other possibility that he didn't want that is because of how powerful the fourth Hokage is. And we do... We do know that because he sealed away the demon fox. It just implies a power that, hey, I'll take the first two Hokages. I ain't taking this bitch. <laughs> I ain't. Uh, mm, no. No. <laughs> Not today. What do we say to the fourth Hokage? Not today. Which I am curious. With the reanimation, we've seen that previously. It seems like when you do the reanimation jutsu... It's just, it's just a show. It's moving at your whim. S such could be the case here. However, they did look back at Orochimaru and said, and they were speaking as if they still had their own personalities. Now, of course, that could be Orochimaru playing mind games, you know, compelling them to say that so that it seems like, oh, you have to fight the first and second Hokage. How do you feel about that? <laughs> yeah know what all this is <laughs> but it made me wonder if they are completely strictly underneath his will or is there still some semblance of the first and second hokage there and if so why would they fight the third well guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please remember to like comment share and subscribe if you're so inclined Check out my channel for all my other content that I have on there. My short films, Assassin of the Flame and Yin and Yang, reactions, breakdowns, all that good stuff that's on there. Much, much more to come. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.